This is a big, rich town. I just come from the poorest part. Bright like city life, I gotta make it. This is where it goes down. I just happen to come apart. Little or little baby, I gotta make it. What's up, everyone? Welcome to another edition of Power After Hours, your favorite power podcast. Jeff J is here. Chrissy Bree is here. And we are finally, finally, finally at mm-hmm. the mid-season finale, Power, Season 6, Episode 10, No One Can Stop Me, mm. Unless You're a Bullet. <laughs> oh, oh, that bullet always has a way of humbling you, don't it? It, it looks like, well, we're going to find out one way or another. Um, January 5th is when we come back. A two-month break, and then we get the final five episodes. But obviously, if you've been under a rock, if you haven't seen Power, if you haven't seen Power and you watch Power, you probably got spoiled by now. But, yeah, this is the cliffhanger that they served up for us, that Ghost <clears throat> is... It was a lot. Ghost is shot at the end of the episode. And was we he? can We can... <laughs> come on. Yeah, I saw blood. <laughs> I heard, um, I can't remember the brother's name, but this saying this is a thing. I, know, I was like, what is happening? What are, are we in church? Like, what is going on? Did Kanye write this episode? I was like, <laughs> so there was a lot power. going on. Yeah, it was, it was a lot. And, and so, all right. Uh, what, what, you wanna wanna start? What, what did you, what did you think about the episode? Let's get to that. What I mean, I'm not, I'm not even going to sugarcoat it. I didn't like it. Mm-hmm. Um, I thought it was very, uh, who shot JR 1980. Like I, there, it, to me, it felt very soap opera, like soap mm-hmm. opera. It, it actually brought me back to what we talked about when we used to do the podcast for, um, what's the show on Fox with Taraji P. Empire. Empire. It actually kind of took me there. There were parts of it where it was supposed to be serious. And I caught myself chuckling just the way he was talking. Um, this is not the ghost that we've known from season one. It was very weird to me. Um, they bigged up this episode like it was going to be the greatest thing. And I was just severely disappointed. I felt like a lot of the plots were still left open. There was a lot of things that still don't make sense. Um, and I get this was the mid season finale, but it was the way that the acting took place. It was just very, I just felt like I was watching a soap opera. This is not the power that we've seen for the past six seasons. Um, is it though? Well, that's a good point too. I, I just felt like the way ghost was, the way ghost was acting this whole episode was not the ghost that we've come to know. Like I, I was just very thrown off. Like, yeah, we know he's power hungry. That's the point of the show. But it's like they were almost trying to throw it in our faces. Like Mm -hmm. nothing was resolved. Um, You just had so many open storylines that are still open. You bring back Paz, who's been missing since what? Episode one, um, maybe two. She was somewhere. She was somewhere cooking for like 10 episodes. Yeah, you bring her back and then she's got like this hardcore vengeance, even though she knows that James didn't kill her sister. So I'm just like, okay, this is a little bit much. Mm-hmm. Um, the only well, storyline I got was the ghost in Ramona because right. she's been one that dick since <laughs> the very beginning. Okay. Scoping that dang, that dang. I mean, damn. So, she so, was let's, so why don't we, so I'll give you my thoughts, my, my quick thoughts, and then let's go through the plot and go through everything and then we can pick apart say what we what we like whatever the case may be right okay so my my biggest issue my biggest thing with with this with this episode is something that you already alluded to which was the um the biting off of the who shot jr um trope right it's like as soon as i saw it i was like yo they really did they really freaking did who shot jr for power and 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 i don't feel like they really need to do that they could have did it a whole nother way um and it and just empire felt has easy. already done that by the way just so we're very clear what's up empire also did this with who shot lucius so it's like oh, oh my God. i didn't know that's why people were saying was comparing it to empire it's ridiculous like you guys are really gonna do this again like we just saw this three years ago yo i didn't um I didn't know that now, you know what? I'm glad you said that 
I'm, I'm glad you said that because that now it makes a lot more sense why people were comparing it to Empire. Like I didn't know. Yeah. I didn't know why they were comparing it to Empire. Now I get it because they actually did it in yeah. the, in, in Empire. They actually and did. Empire, you kind of expected that because it is the whole soap opera vibe. We've had that talk before where Empire, you just don't take it seriously. Like it's not, you know, we've compared the two shows before where we said it's not serious like power is. And mm-hmm. now they're doing the same exact thing. So it's like, come on, y'all got to do better. Like we can't be in this situation mm-hmm. again in three years. Like, <laughs> not to mention, you know, 50 is 50, but the fact that he would he would always joke on empire and and have his shots and stuff of all he would say about the show now it's like well now you here with that so that was like my biggest issue in a slew of issues with this show <laughs> that i felt like yo you we could have did something totally different other than what was done right but what i want to do Let's go through the show. Let's go through everything. And then I'm sure your issues and, and other issues that you have, it'll pop out with, with how we how we okay. review. And yo, the Twitter. <laughs> Twitter was a mess. How like I after I, hours Twitter <sighs> account was on fire. I can't wait to get to y'all to, to the power talk session. I can't wait. Because I knew. I didn't watch it live, by the way. I just watched it today. So mm. um, I saw a few of the comments in my mentions because y'all were at me. And I I just kept saying, I'm gonna, I know I'm going to have a lot to say, but I'm not going to say anything. Mm-hmm. Um, because there were some people who actually liked the episode. Some people really liked it. So I was like, oh, okay. I, I just, I didn't want to go off of what other people thought. I went into it with my own as I had from the very beginning. Right. Um, but yeah, this was trash. But yeah, let's go. <laughs> So, so I, I'll I'll say before we start, I didn't I didn't I didn't hate the episode. I didn't hate the episode. I feel like this was a this was this could have been so much better mm-hmm. if a lot of stuff wasn't forced. That's my that's my position from now, and we can go through this and and let's see let's see how we feel. Right. So basically, the way this episode played out. They wanted to give us a reason. They wanted to give every main character a reason to hate Ghost so much that they would want to kill him right. to set up this cliffhanger. And I, I listened to Power Confid. I listen. I watched Power Confidential after because Courtney Kemp and um, Stacy San, I believe her name is, is the director. They were for, for episode six ten. They were there and they were giving their perspective. Um, First off, one of the things that she said was there isn't going to be a swerve. All those pe- out of all those people that we saw walking towards truth or going to going to do whatever the ghost, it's one of those suspects. So no, Yaz didn't shoot him. Kendrick Lamar didn't shoot him. <laughs> uh, Q didn't shoot him. It's one of those. It's one of those. Cash didn't shoot him. Well, um, Jesse no, Williams sorry. didn't shoot him. Uh, you know, Simon Stern didn't shoot him. It's one of those people. That's okay. what she said. And and I know a lot of y'all were like, oh, well, she also said Angela wasn't dead. She technically was right. Angela was alive in that that's it, is episode one until she wasn't. She yeah. was alive for four minutes. So, <laughs> I mean, it is what it is. But so that's one thing that we knew. The second thing, and I thought that was interesting, and I think it did reflect in the episode. This was probably Ghost's biggest victory in the history of the show. Mm. He he finally sees he's on the one yard line of his dream to be completely legit. So he's not just going to be legit as a businessman. He's going to be legit as a public figure. I think it's a little ironic that he equates politics with being legit, like that right. legitimizes him as a squeaky clean or or a legit person in society when we know politics is rife with 30. corruption and lies and scandal right but it, but you think about it where being a politician is a step up from the world that he was sure. in right so this is his best day ever so and one of the things that uh, Courtney said was he's saying everything that he's always wanted to say to these people he's saying everything that he wanted to say to these people and this is what came out 
I I feel you, but I I also think that a lot of it was the was a plot device to to give them motive for wanting to kill Ghost, yeah. right? So yeah. we who do you want to start with 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 their uh, ultimate motive? Who you want to go with first? Mm. Why don't we do this? Why don't we go with Why don't we go with Tasha? Tasha, okay. So I was gonna say Tasha. Let's start yeah. off on a good note because yeah, Tasha, Tasha has ample reason to want to shoot what? this motherfucker, right? Um, <laughs> you want to talk about that scene at the graveyard? Man, I <laughs> let me tell you something. Poor Raina. Okay, I, I just, you know, I hate that she had to, to, to be the one to die for their sins because she probably was the one pure one out of all them motherfuckers. But, that. I mean, it's just really sad. That's That scene, um, you know, goes saying, I, I, I release you. Like, nigga, first of all, you don't own me. Okay, like, <laughs> when he said that, I was like, who is he talking to? Like, I, 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 but I, I understood where he was coming from. You know, when they were battling and going back and forth, you know, she had to play the wife in order for him to look a certain way. So he finally says he releases her from everything. You don't mm-hmm. have to worry about it no more. I'm going to be legit. I'm going to be that. But it's also the way you deliver things. Right. right. And I feel like this whole episode, we watched Ghost delivering a message in the 100 percent wrong way. And when you're dealing with somebody that you just put hands on. Mm not really the way you want to talk to them. Mm. Like I didn't feel any remorse in his voice. You feel me? Like there was no, even though he was saying he was sorry, Mm -hmm. I didn't feel that he was sorry. I don't think he was. And I don't think it was remorse. I don't think he had remorse. I think this was his final fuck you to Tasha for in Mm. his mind, not supporting him when he wanted to go legit. Mm. And, 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 uh, Terrence Jane and Courtney kind of went into a back and forth about it where he was like, you know, he did try to get legit. And then, uh, Courtney's argument was that he sprang it all on Tasha without Tasha having a choice in the matter. She saw the money that was being made at Truth, knew that it, it may not uphold the lifestyle that they had. So and then he all of a sudden pops up with another woman, which I felt like was very sister girl bigging up your friend that that's that's um, yeah. breaking up with her man type revisionist history. Because the way I remember it, Right, he was in the game. He was in the game for a while. He was doing both, and he and he suggested, "Yo, this is a way for us to get out." And Tasha played him like, "Fuck yeah. out of here! You a drug dealer? What you mean? You gonna run true? Fuck out of here!" In the and, bathroom, and that combination of seeing Angie and thinking of a uh, a life where it could be simpler as somebody who could ride with him in that new life versus getting ridiculed. For wanting to be to get out of the da- one of the most dangerous games in the land, yeah, I feel like it's a little more complicated than that. Uh, but not only with that whole releasing her for the marriage, like this is true blood, and and you're and, and the person who turned you into a vampire now no longer wants you to be their I'm sire. Or whatever, laugh, man. I'm trying not to right? cough. <laughs> but um, but yeah, that whole scene in the apartment. Where and, and and I think we could we could link Tasha and Tariq with this, right? Okay. All of a sudden, because L- Ghost is going to be a lieutenant governor, he <laughs> gets the idea. Yo, Tariq should turn himself into the feds. Dumbest shit I ever heard. We'll, we'll send him to a military camp. They'll get he'll get off, and then he'll he'll be able to make something of himself. And uh, and not only was this a slap in the face, and I feel like this was. This was the the motivation for Tasha and Tariq to want to kill him. But right. for me, for me, it's it's a um, it's a character plot hole, right? Because all last season he was talking about taking the rap for Tariq. So yeah. now you want me to believe? I don't even know what a lieutenant governor does. I ain't gonna hold you. I ain't the most political. Like I'm, I'm not deep into the recesses of politics. I know what a governor does. A yeah. Lieutenant governor, I guess they're the vice governor. Like I don't like. All right, y'all didn't even win the race. You didn't even win the race. You're just a yeah, democratic like nominee. You're a nominee. I mean, I guess he's a she's he's technically like a shoe in for the the position now that, you know, Tate is out of the running. Right, so I guess but, but there's still a race to run. There's still a race, exactly. So it's like you still, people still have to vote for you, my nigga. Like, right. you still, like, uh, I, That's I, how gassed he is? And and even to the fact that this, there's federal people involved, it's New York, he, he would be labeled a cop killer going to jail. 
And you think they're going to let him off easy for being a cop killer unless you can reveal that he was involved in some shady shit? It's just a whole, it's a whole lot. And for somebody who wanted his son out the game, you mean to tell me you think sending him into the system is, is, the, the, right is the right move? move? I mean, I'm mad. Like, I can understand what, what, why why they would be mad and want to kill him. But I'm just saying from a character perspective, it, it, it that flip in the span of power time, that's probably in a, in like less than six months Yeah, that you now, you all of a sudden want, want him to go to jail. I just, that's just something that's hard for me to, to he's make making man, he's making man decisions. So he should be able to handle, you know, face it up like a man. Where was like this energy oh, when it happened? Come on, go. like, this is what you're doing. Right. Right. Um, yo, how about, well, you know, th- that whole exchange was a whole thing um, where, where he, he figured out that Tasha killed Keisha. And, and you know what's funny? Go, well, well it, it, I guess it was easier for him because he told her about Keisha, told her mm-hmm. where she was, and then Keisha ended up dead. So he put two and two together, right? So he says that, so that was like kind of like, it's like Tasha, like, Tommy's the only one who believes you about not, not, like, yeah, like, doesn't have a suspicion. Right, everybody knows it was her, but right. Uh, right. That's a that's a damn shame that Tommy's blind spot is Tasha. I guess so either that or he just wasn't looking hard into it. Right? Okay. He's so hell bent on ghosts right now that he doesn't see anything else. Can I tell you when I screamed? Uh, <laughs> probably the same time I did. Go ahead. This man finally saw a vision of Raina and told Raina to her face. I've been thinking, baby girl, I've been thinking about you every day. Why is the first time we seen Raider pop into your head? This is the first Raider vision? Well, actually, no. I, I, I'll, let me take this back. And then he, like, see her. There was, like, an episode where he, like, envisioned her somewhere, like, sitting down or something like that. Like, it was a passing thing. It was, I think it was part of her funeral or whatever. And he saw her sitting down. Trust me, it, since the funeral, she he ain't seen no parts of Raina. The fact we that see, we have to think that hard about right. it, bro. Like, but I can tell you what he saw, Angela. I can we, tell you what he saw, oh, Angela. We definitely saw that boy equal, okay? But right. we ain't seen no Raina. How your you, daughter, your flesh and blood, bro. You lying to ghosts. You lying to yourself. Like I was like, I was like, get the fuck out of here. You ain't never like, well, Raina, he lied to you. He said you didn't have to lie for him. She was like, I didn't learn to lie from him. I learned to lie from you. Yep. You and Okay, mom. all them lies you've been telling. Like it, the thing about it was, as much as he was trying to say all of the Try to make himself look squeaky clean. At some point, you still have to atone for your sins. And each person was pretty much telling him throughout the episode. He saw quite a few people. Mm-hmm. Each person was telling him, like, bro, like, you, you know, well, I guess we'll get to the Canaan part. But everybody was pretty much telling him, like, look, you ain't shit. Like, and, and at some point, this is going to come back on you. Like, you cannot just right. walk away squeaky clean and nothing happens. That's not how this is going to work. And what was his response every time? No one can stop me. No, no one, one can, can stop, stop me, me, which I no thought was extremely now. cheesy. Right. Um, that yeah. he kept saying that line. I just... Yeah, I don't think he had to keep repeating it. I feel like he could um, it say it time. in different ways and other ways and whatnot. But yeah, like I just it, he was reiterating the point, but I felt like he can... He didn't have to keep saying. He said it a few times. Yeah, like he said it to each person. Right. Each person. He said it to Dre. He said it to Tasha. He said it to Kanan. Mm-hmm. He's. I mean, he said it to, to to Tommy. He said it to everyone. Yeah, he said it to everybody. He kept reiterating the fact that y'all not gonna stop me, and I feel it because Tasha. Tasha was trying to keep him in the game. Tommy was trying to keep him in the game. Kanan brought him into the game and almost took him out of life. Yeah. So he he's reiterating that, right? So. I also love the fact that Raina's petty in death. She's like, I had to suffer for my, I had to suffer, I had to suffer my consequences. Right out to Reek. I'm like, yo, real Raina wouldn't have said that. That's how I know it's his subconscious. That ain't no ghost. That's his subconscious because real Raina would not have said that. Not even close. She protects. She was too loving, too caring. Right. Like she was literally so pure. Like I, I just, I hate that she had to go. Literally, I mean, it's just so sad. Yeah. It was- I, like, I can't. Like I don't even know how we progress. Like at this point, okay. So we talked about Tasha. We talked about Raina, and then and then do we re- well I'm next? Well, to- well, we can we can we can connect with Tariq because Tariq is at the head of this because he he wanted to talk to Tariq about the whole turn himself in, and you know. Obviously, he blew up. Like, yo, this is the one last thing. Right. This was the last. This was the last straw 
of respect he had left for Ghost. Yep. Yo, you out of anything, I think you're the most selfish person in the world, but I know that you was ready to take a, a, a fall for me. So what's up? Like, are you going to take a fall for me? Yes or no, right? And then he's like, no. And then he's like, yo, all right, enough with the lies. Tell me about all the murders you commit. Tell me about Breeze. And I thought, I thought it was interesting when he brought up the Breeze murder and, and um, Ghost told him he gave him another chance. He gave him another chance. He gave yeah. Breeze another chance before he killed him, right? And I and that kind of was like one of the foreshadowing things where you hear you hear Tariq like, all right, and he's just like, you know, you don't do what's best for the family, you do what's the best for Ghost. And then he shows up later at Truth at the, the victory party or whatever, talks to Stern, puts on a good face, and one last time asks him, you really want me to turn myself in? And he you was like, yeah. The heart in his face too, man. He was like, That's right. And then that was it. You know what I'm saying? Like he was, that, that was it. That was, that might've been Tariq's last chance for him, right? Before he was like, yo, this is time to go. But, you know, that, that was enough. And Tariq has always been the person that's like, yo, nobody's going to kill my dad unless I give the green light. Yeah. And now he probably gave himself the green light, which is why he's a, a suspect. Just crazy all in all. I kind of felt for Tariq in that moment. You know, he's done a lot of things. Um, but like you said, he still had that one little little hope for the person that he called his dad, I guess you can say. Mm -hmm. But I think at this point he knows like this man is in it for himself. Like that's what really kills me when Ghost tries to say, I would never do anything to hurt my kids. Like that's a lie. Like every no decision you've made thus far has been for your children. It's been for you. You've been extremely selfish if we look back. And at times Tasha has been too, if you really want to keep it on it. Mm -hmm. Since y'all always want to hate on me for always hating on Ghost and never talking about Tasha. I but mean, she ain't shit either. They are, both have been a terrible parents to these kids. And that's why we're in the position that we are in now. Yep. Period. All right. So this one is is, is type quick. Uh, Ghost and Tommy. Tommy. This, Tommy's thing I'm still trying to figure out actually. Okay, so I, talk about it. Let's Let's figure it out. So Ghost and Tommy meet up, right, of course. And then um, it looks like, <laughs> I mean, it looked like at one point Tommy was about to take the gun out and just end it right then and there. But then they're getting shot at. Mm -hmm. I'm very confused as to who the person was that was shooting at them. Mm -hmm. One. Two, why Tommy ran off and we didn't see him after that. Right. I, I'm, yeah, I, so he was leaving Ghost to die? Is that, what we're, is that what we're to believe? I mean, one thing I think is, Maybe he was running after whoever the second shooter was. Mm. Maybe that, but I don't know. But apparently, at least we know the one person that was shooting at him was Cedric the Entertainer. Yeah, that's who I thought it was. Oh my God. Yes. Cedric the Entertainer. And how funny do you have to be <laughs> that you just coming on power in the last season to play a dead body had me <laughs> like, I thought it was him, but I was like, nah. Then I go on Twitter and everybody's like, yo, it's Cedric the Entertainer. Then I go on IMDb and sure enough. Wait a minute, that's really him? It's really him. He has a credit in Power Season 6, Episode 10. That is really Cedric the fucking Entertainer who came sure. on to play a dead body on Power. I thought you were joking. Yo, he oh, must have just been on the lot and they were like, yo, you want to be in Power? Yo, fuck it, be a dead body. Yo, fuck it. What I think the fuck, Cedric? Yo, stars really had fuck you money this season for the for the for those episodes. What? I didn't know. I didn't. I, I didn't know where you were going with that. That's actually kind of. I, I had no idea that was really him. That's kind of dope. Dead ass. I'm dead ass serious. <laughs> no. I mean, if you're gonna be on the show, just go out the right way. <laughs> yeah, a lot. I mean, I, had, I saw a lot of speculation on Twitter about who that person was. A lot of people saying he looked like he could have been a cop. Um, that maybe it was Tate that sent them. Mm -hmm. Um, you know, Tate said he had a lot of people in his bag. I, I mean, I, I really don't know. I'm just, I'm really trying to figure out how that scene even fit into the episode. To be honest with you, I'm still very confused because Tommy running off to me was a gaping hole. Like, right? Why, why the hell did he run away? Yeah, like, what was the never point? Never like, saw him again go? until the end. Right, like that doesn't make sense. And you know, they built up the anticipation, I guess. When you see the car following Ghost, you see the um the windshield looking yeah. at the windshield and following Ghost. Then you see like somebody. It looks like somebody's like watching his every move, and then it built up to that Ghost and Tommy meeting. So maybe whoever was shooting at him was um following him. The other thing I thought of was I thought it was Tommy in the car because 
Tommy switches his car up every week. That's true story. So I thought that that was Tommy's car. So maybe it was. Who knows? But um, that ghost Tommy meeting had another thing in the in the show that another one of my critical points. Tommy starts talking about the recording. How the fuck did he know about the recording? That's a good how, question. How do they how do they get into that conversation about the recording as if they know it still exists? And they talk about well he betrayed us both. I'm sorry, and and y'all if y'all listening. If I miss something, because I've talked to a few people about this today. No. If I miss something, let me know. Like some somebody tried to tell um shout out to my guy Martel. Uh he tried to tell me like, oh, they, they spoke about it before. And I was like, fam, I I Never. could not I watched it twice. I could not have blown that. Like n- I, nobody mentioned the, the joint is still on Elisa Marie's neck. Wherever she is at this point, she's probably in child protective services. Or with the random um a random Yo, uh, it is still on her neck. Yeah, or with a random um relative that we don't know, right? So how how was he talking? Him. Why was why did he bring up the recording? They didn't bring it up when he found out that Proctor was about to snitch. Sax didn't say nothing about a recording. Because they don't know about it. Right. N- nobody brought up the recordings. When they were killing Sax, Sax didn't bring up the recording, or they're about to kill Sax. They didn't. He didn't bring up the record. Like nobody has. A, nobody. And remember, uh, um, uh, Ghost was like, he told me he de- destroyed it, and he was like, yeah, well, he betrayed us all, right? And I'm like, okay, so did y'all discover? That was a very confusing scene. And if anybody's listening, feel free to add us on the Power After Hours account or, or our personal. Let me know if I missed that because to me that is a Grand Canyon size plot hole. I didn't. I don't remember seeing anything where that. And I, when they when he brought it up, I was like, I even asked myself, "Damn, did I miss something?" Because I I was sitting there watching the entire time, and it's not like Benny said anything. You know, when he approached him in the hallway, wow. I, I really don't even know how Tommy came to that information. The last time we saw Tommy, his people were getting put in jail. Mm-hmm. Um, I, I, I'm really not sure how that even became a topic. Right. Again, they're bringing in a, a plot that, that has no, it has, there's no basis. There's no meaning. There's no, like we know that that, that recording is still lingering though, that they mm-hmm. have to bring that back into play at some point, right. but it, that was the wrong way to do it. So then the other thing is Tommy tells him that he knows that he didn't kill Keisha, but then he thinks that he jammed up his, his, um, his crew. How did he come to the realization that he, he all now after he survived all these deaths, attempted murders, now he doesn't think that he, he killed him. And then on top of that, you know, the whole scene where he was like, yo, I'm done with you, Tommy. He's like, oh, so what? That's supposed to be it. I feel like that's out of character for him. Like he was almost like breaking down in tears where it's like, yo, the, the Tommy I know would have been way more aggressive with that. Yeah, you know, that might That's be a little not, thing, no, but I don't know. No, Jeff, a part of me feels like this whole episode is not real. Like it's a dream. I, I it was all too fake for me. Do you understand what I'm mm-hmm. saying? Like none of this made fucking sense. Like I'm, I'm still lost. The way Ghost was talking didn't make sense. The way he was falling at the end was stupid as fuck. Like it, this episode was so dumb to me that it would not surprise me if they came back and Ghost woke up in his bed from a terrible fucking dream. Like I'm, I'm dead I, ass. I actually saw. Um, uh, shout out to uh, officially Ice on Twitter. Uh, he said that he thinks that the the way the series is going to end is this was all a day this whole series was a daydream and it's going to come back to that the scene in truth from the pilot where he sees Angela on the balcony and he realizes what what could happen if he messes with her all the death all of this in in his life and he decides not to like he changes his fate by not getting involved with her and i was like yo th- I don't think that they're ready. They're ready to do all that because then if they do all of that, then what's the use of the spinoff? What's the use? You know, of but the but that's how frustrated people are with with this show, right? Um, so let's see who else that that was that was it for Tommy. Let's get to Tate. So Tate Tate is the <laughs> other character who I said, yo, if anybody want to kill this motherfucker, it gotta be Tate. You know what I'm saying? Like got mad reason after that whole confrontation. Right. They, listen, when they walked in and they said that they were the police. 
do you have you ever seen that that gif of the Grinch and the way that he like he starts <laughs> to smile becomes bigger yep. and looking bigger? Yep. That was not Tate in that moment. I don't know what was like. It definitely bro, was the Grinch that Grinch gif. Oh my god, that was so it. Like that's crazy to me. But yeah, Tate. If anyone has reason to me. Is Tate the way he was talking to him? You don't you don't talk to somebody like that, bro. You get hands put on you when you talk to somebody like that. He was talking down to him like mm-hmm. he was his bitch. Like if yeah. you really want to keep going on, that's another example of him wanting to say that's been building for a while though. And to be yeah. fair, Tate Tate earned it with with Dan yeah. the Queen's Child project and all that. Tate earned it, and for him to the way he was talking down and even after all of that happened where he was like yeah i might have heard something i might have heard him talking about silver like they they coerced that affidavit out of him which was all dirty uh tate i guess tate was one of those people who he realized all right this is politics this is the way stuff goes down right. let me hold this guy down i really didn't have anything personal it was just business and ghost just kept going going calling him a loser saying he was good taking l's and i took your spot and blah blah blah, blah. like going in the heads up too I, right and then all of a sudden he was just like what was he about to say about his son like what why did his face change i think that he tate remembered that he had a son and he, he actually felt bad and he was going to give him the heads up in the hopes that he would be you know like seeds fire almost right. um but Ghost just wouldn't stop. He he just wouldn't shut his fucking mouth. And that's why I think Rashad Tate has all the reason in the world to end his life. Because you don't talk to somebody like that. Like, where I come from, my nigga, you don't talk to people like that. He was rubbing it all, all in his face. All in his face. Uh, so that's why I said, if anybody, if anybody deserved the fade, it was, it was Ghost for Toy. He talked to Tate. That's word of yeah. So let, let's talk about let's talk about these DAs, right? Let's talk oh about these God. DAs. And this was probably at a t- one of the top three things that I had an issue with with the way this shit went, right? So this dude Warner, the head of the DA, this whole time, you know, they're trying to they 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 um uh they're trying to bag Ghost or whatever. Sax goes into his office and tells him, yo, you need to check his apartment, blah, 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 blah. He probably has stuff there. De- Blanca already does it. And, um, and you know, it, when Blanca's having that conversation with Warner, Warner even tells him, like, yo, you're starting to sound like sex. Like, mm-hmm. you're starting to sound like sex with these conspiracy theories. And And, and it's funny because... You even get to the point where Warner sounds like us mm-hmm. when we're trying to, where we're listing all the reasons why certain stuff isn't going to work, right? Yeah. Where, where he's like, yo, you don't have enough for a warrant. It, 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 he talks about, we found dirt from the Queen's Child Project. Yeah, you know how many times he went back and forth and back and forth to that site? And then the most obvious thing. Tasha told you exactly where the body is. How is she not implicated? How is she not in actuality? How is she not the number one suspect? She should be the suspect. The fact that she knows everything, she should have been the number one suspect. But they all got such a hard on for James St. Patrick, even though he did do it. Let's be very clear. Right, right, um, right. right. I mean, that's the funniest part. He did do it, but but it. with the way they're going about it, you can't, you can't, and he knows that. He knows you can't get a conviction that way. And 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 even to the point where Blanca, Blanca slowly but surely is, is gotten invested to the point where she's Doing letting Sax beat her in the head. And, yep. and, and even with that, you know, it's been a span of a few episodes, but Blanca went from not trusting anybody to to really wanting, she desired this conviction so much that she did turn into sex. She did. She's doing the dirty work just like he was. And it's unfortunate because for one second, I thought she was going to be that moral compass and it, she's completely lost that. Um, the whole situation, like he, when, you know, they found the cell phone, Terry Silver's cell phone, not only did they find it, they took it out of the apartment. And, you know, he's telling, Warner's telling her like, so you mean to tell me somebody who's eluded us for all these years is going to be so careless as to have a cell phone? Right. <laughs> of right. the person he killed right front and center for you to find right like you really want me to believe that and then he's like fucking sax like right you- he knew 
He knew. And th- and that's the thing. And he was even saying it. He's like, yo, you got a you got a confession from Tate. Like Tate don't got a reason to lie on him after losing his the the, the governorship to to a, a dude who was ba- who's basically a murderer and a drug dealer. Yeah, and you, like she don't got and he's even saying it, like, yo. And, and and mind you, you know, legal legal our legal people out there, I don't know if a sneak and peek warrant, I didn't look it up. I don't know if a sneak and peek warrant is an actual thing, but for the sake of power, let's say it's an actual thing. It is. They use a, it is, right? Mm-hmm. So so they she took the phone with a sneak and peek warrant. All of this stuff, and then so he knows. So that's when they go to speak to sex with Tamika, and Tamika literally beats them in the head on some yo, if you take sex down. Then all yo, y'all like all y'all are gonna go. Rodriguez is blown. You're blown, and that's what the headline's gonna be. Or you could take down a lieutenant governor hopeful. Um, which one is gonna be the um bigger headlines, right? So, so a couple of things with that whole situation with um with that, right? Which which ends up giving Warner the impetus to go to that same judge who, yo, that's the one consistent thing they've done. Yeah. That I appreciate that judge has been the same judge the whole yeah. time where they're going to him. They're going to him um, for to, I guess, to try to get an arrest warrant for for a ghost. Mm-hmm. And he's knocking everything down. He's yeah. knocking yeah. everything down. He's like, yo, what's up? Go ahead. Doing that shit swiftly. Like, OK, he, at first I thought they won him over, but that. <laughs> nah. I mean, he just kept every time they thought they had something. He he pulled out the phone, and I was like, "That nigga gonna knock you down with that too." Right? He was like, "Yo, it's cir- it's circumstantial, right?" He's like, "It's all circumstantial." He's like, "Yo, there's no proof Silver went to the site." He's like, "Yo, this guy, this guy has been back and forth. Who'd you get?" And it's straight up, like, and they was even even Warner had said, I believe, you know, it, you can't get you can't get. You got to get a confession from somebody who isn't a friend or an enemy because either way, they're compromised, right? But my issue, my issue with Warner is when he gave that phone, I said, yo, that's fucking fake. And it's fake because you mean to tell me that's all it took for him to 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 uh, to abandon his principles. Right. He wanted it that bad that he was going to offer up the phone and ended up it ended up blowing up the case because the judge would not give them an arrest warrant because you know he probably and and, and that's where I got confused towards the end when I saw Blanca's arrest warrant and I was like, yo. How the fuck did they still get that arrest warrant with, with all that shit? Because it was freaking Dre giving that was dropping the dime, like. Right. But it, but it wasn't. I, I think that that warrant was for Sax. It wasn't. It wasn't for Ghost. I think that was the warrant that they. Because remember, Tamika goes to Sax and says they're they're issuing the warrant, and he's like, "Yo, so and they're allowing you to come in." Right, right. To to uh, he could either that. You know what? There you go. There's another hole. They, she, she was saying that they were going to allow allow him to turn himself in, right? In the morning. She said they're allowing you to turn yourself in in right. the morning. I've been wrestling with that, too. So that basically, that's the reason why. Because Sax the whole time could not accept the fact that Ghost won. And Ghost won, so he got drunk. I thought he was going to kill himself. But it looks like it looks like he's he was on his way to go handle it because he's lost literally everything. And he was ready to take it up. Right. Like, Tim Solon, you're done. There's nothing that I can do for you. You are going to jail. And, and that's why I think it's for ghosts, because I think when she spoke to Dre and Dre saying that he saw James do it, like, which is another thing that, like, like I said, I wrestled back and forth with, because if they went to that judge again, he would know that Dre is somebody that has it out for ghosts. So why would you take his word for it? And you want me to believe that Blanca is now so dirty right. that she would go and coerce a false statement from a witness. Well, that- if if we're going to have that conversation about police and law enforcement and how far they would go, I mean, uh, it doesn't surprise me. But I will say for her character and what they showed us, yeah, what I'm saying. It's off. it surprises the fuck out of me, right? What and, happened so fast? And of course, Dre has a reason because oh, Ghost is best in him at every turn. Time. Framed him for murder. Then he goes to Ghost to ask for basically like, yo, <laughs> I love when, he, when Tariq brings him. He's like, what the fuck is your little friend doing? He calls him your little friend. Right? Yeah. And he basically oh, came God. with some blackmail shit. Like, yo, I know shit about you. You know shit about me. 
I need to get out of town. I'm about to, the heat is on me. I need I need money. And my man said, I'll give you 250 racks. And Dre said, that's not enough. Must be fucking nice. Must, Must be, be nice. So, so, and then, you know, once again, he's talking to him. He's like, I'll, I'll help you like the little bitch that you are. Ooh, and you he know. said that, I said, oh, Lord. Yeah, he, he was getting at him. And then ended up setting him up for Jason Mitch's murder. Which forced yeah. him to be like, yo, tell Blanca, like, y'all know I didn't kill him. You know there's no reason I kill him. He's like, oh, well, there's footage of you there. And the only way I could get you out. Because when Ghost went to Vincent and had him at gunpoint and said, I need you to do a favor for me. And we're straight. When he got the burner into 2 and Spank and made a deal with them. I think that deal was to kill Dre. I agree. In, in prison. And that's why Dre knew he had to get the fuck out because if he was in there, it was a wrap. Yeah. Right. Um. So. So. Dre is a liability. Period. Right. He, right. Right. He's in the jail, but he's always going to be a liability because you know he's a snake and he will do whatever it takes to 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 win in the end. So that's why I think, like, I agree with you. He called them to to finish it to to have so, him killed. So so here's my question, right? If the char- if Blanca went to everybody and said the charges were dismissed, well, well, they no longer need the testimonies because they're not. Ghost is gonna go free. She goes and tells all those people Ghost is gonna go free, right? Mm-hmm. Dre gets out of jail for lying. She has an arrest warrant. So was she just lying to everybody, or did Ghost get off? How does she have an arrest warrant and then and Dre That's gets a out? Good question. If like, she's I'm very me, confused I about that. That shit makes no sense. That. Cause it's like, okay, you got you coerced another fake confession. <laughs> fake confession for a real crime, which is nuts, right? Yeah. Mm-hmm. He actually did it, but Dre wasn't there. Whatever. No. You coerced this out of him. You coerce it out of him. And then he goes free. So when he goes free, he's going to go look for ghosts, right? But you have, but you tell everybody else that the investigation is over, basically, right? That's what it was, right? She was telling everybody yeah. that that it's a wrap. Ghost one, that's ghost it. Ghost one, right? So she has an arrest warrant. Who is that arrest warrant for? She's outside of the nightclub, right? It, so was it for ghosts? Gunshot. Then, then who is she lying to? Is she lying to us? Is she lying to the characters? Because I, that 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 is poorly done. I'm sorry. Oh, wow. I, I didn't even think about that. That's, that's who's another... the arrest warrant for? Because so Tamika told Sax it was a rap, and they're coming to arrest him, and he can turn himself in. So who was that arrest warrant for? Oh my god, this show is so fucking stupid. Now, I, Yo, I, like, what the it. fuck? It's and, so stupid. And, and, like, and here's the thing, like, you know, shout out shout out to my, my power group chat who was some of the most nitpickiest motherfuckers on this planet, right? But my thing was, I've heard nitpicks before where I'm like, yo, this is stupid, whatever. I've even ignored some plot holes because it's a show. Like, it's yeah. a fucking show. It happens, right? But it just felt so forced. Mm-hmm. The, the motivations felt so forced when there were natural motivations that could have been expanded upon rather than turn close into this one big asshole who has his day and those words are going to be the things that push people over the edge like they didn't have enough to go over the edge right like even the past shit i'm still up why did he came back stupid Paz, Paz came back and 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 they mentioned it in power confidential that She's upset that he didn't tell her who killed her her who sister. Who gives a fuck? Like, why even bring her back? Right. Like, it was so unnecessary to have her there. Like, and if she ends up being the one who shot him, I'm gonna be really upset. Oh, they they can't do that, man. They can, but they cannot because she feels like the most throw. Like that to me is an example of forcing the the narrative of who shot Ghost. Why the fuck is Paz there? Why? And then he says, I can't tell you because I don't know. And then, of course, all right, you don't believe him, heard you. But if you know he didn't do it, you're going to kill him because he didn't tell you who did it? So if you know who did it, what were you going to do? It's so stupid. Like, the whole thing is so dumb. Like, I, the more I think about it, like, I, you know what's crazy is I, that I completely missed the plot hole of her telling everybody that he was. You sure that didn't happen before she spoke to Dre? 
I, 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 oh my God. I've seen it a couple of times. And I know she speaks to Dre. She speaks to Dre. Because remember, Dre got out to be one of the people walking in truth, right? So okay. she speaks to Dre. Then she speaks to everybody else to tell them that it's over. Then that whole everybody dramatically walks towards truth thing happens. Oh my God, that's so stupid. I, I can't even, I, I don't even have the word. You know, like even, why Why would you even coerce a, a, a lie, a confession, a fake confession out of Dre when that judge was the one who told them? Yo, it, it can't be, uh, it, Judge O'Warner, I'm, I'm sorry I'm blanking on that, but it, it can't be enemies of Ghost. Like, unless there is somehow, some way, that connection between Dre and Ghost was never made, like, publicly. But then, you gotta also think about this, too. I know I keep bringing this up every episode, but okay. So, Spank and Two Bitter in jail. They find out Dre is alive. We still don't have anybody questioning BG. Nobody? No, BG. BG is gone. Where the hell is Elisa Marie? Where in the fuck is Yaz? <laughs> L Ellie. L um... Ellie, uh, what's her name? Yeah. Effie, my bad. Effie, Effie, the one who got, um, uh, who, who got Tariq out of here. She's still gone. Like, there's a lot of open plot holes where this Q dude, wherever he is, um, there's, there's just a lot of shit that's open about it. And, um, you know. They gave us know. a longer episode with, with more bullshit. Mm -hmm. It was just added bullshit up in there. Nah, <laughs> that that might be the quote of the night. He gave us a long, longer <laughs> episode the, with a whole lot more bullshit. Like it just, it, it's, nothing adds up at this point. Like, well, I, I still, I mean, I'm still, first of all, I was blown away by the fact that they pulled this who shot ghost thing. Like, yeah, blown really away. Like that, I, I'm just even more upset at how they went about this episode. Like, I, this season really could have been something beautiful. We've had glimpses of what it could have been in some of these episodes, and it just blows my mind that this is what they gave us for a mid-season finale. Like you've had these amazing writers all these seasons, and y'all are just gonna blow it in the in the the end game here. This is what we doing. Yeah, I don't know. Um, so let me let me let me go through some of the the, the minor things that happened. Yo, um, well, first off, the fact that uh, well, this is one of the random things that I actually enjoyed. So they uh. This whole Queen's Child project, he wasn't gonna get on. Um, he wasn't gonna get on the the. Uh, he wasn't gonna get on the ticket unless he had that right. Um, he unless he had the Queen's Child project because it was supposed to be the thing that appealed to appealed to voters, and it was right. his. I guess um, what you call it's it like his rebirth. Like right, he's right. All of that, whatever, right? So he needs to find a new place for the Queen's Child Project, and he goes to an old bar that uh, a family friend, Uncle Gabe, was there, and we find out a little bit more about his father and a little bit more about his upbringing. And, and shout out to uh, Glenn Terman, who was uh, who, he was Uncle Gabe, who was also Colonel Taylor on a different world. Different world, yeah, yeah. I love him. So he like they got they got good actors for the for this um series like these this last season. And I, I like that um I like that interaction that they had. That was some good acting between them. Um I'm I'm left wondering whether whether um Ghost Dad was a snitch because he he had mentioned something about I told your dad don't talk to them cops. I knew the the neighborhood and shit out here. He hadn't seen him since his dad died and, and he yeah. wanted the QCP. That was like a throwaway line, but <clears throat> I was like, yo, is that a snitch? That's crazy. Um, Shout out to them for having the poster of Phyllis Hyman in the in the yeah yeah. So I, I, I'm a big Phyllis Hyman fan. Her story always appealed to me. I, I you know I her story was always touching. I hate that she you know she left us the way she did, but that, I thought that was really dope. Because if you remember the earlier seasons of Power, they always used to have a song mm. that they would play, um, and people would always want to know where that song came from. I think a couple of the songs they used were from Phyllis. So um, I love that they did have her poster on the wall. That was and and having Ghost look at it and pan to it was kind of dope. Yeah, no, that was fire. Um, Raina's middle name is Estelle. That's cool. Yeah, we should hear as on the. It was on the grave, right? Yeah, it was on the grave. Um, 
And Tasha goes there weekly. So, you know, Miss Mr. I think about you every day, but you, you don't know where the graveyard is. Heard you. Oh, what a band talking about some got flowers. Yeah, I bring them here every week, my nigga. Where you yeah. been? Which was another thing for him to uh another reason why she would hate him. Uh let's you see. Let's see, let's see, let's see, let's see. Kanan came back this episode too. Kanan. I mean he came back. Oh yeah, yeah, I loved it. He was he was cursing him out. He's like, yo. He's like, you you just you deserve you deserve the needle or life. I mean, if you really want to keep it one hundred. Ghost, even though he is trying to leave Ghost in the past and become James St. Patrick, he did a lot of shit as Ghost that you can't just essentially walk away from. Like, I don't think he's ever going to be able to be clean. Essentially, there's always going to be his past mm. that comes back to haunt him in some way. Even though he thinks he's closing these chapters behind him. The shit will never be closed. He's always going to have to deal with something. Right. I love when the Canaan vision told him, that's why everybody hates you. Nobody can, nobody trust you. And, and it's it true. true. It was true. And he, and this was like his subconscious, I think secretly feeling guilty about everything that was going on. Right. So, so yeah, uh, I, I definitely co-signed that. Uh, I, um, what was like, what was I going to say? Um, Yo, I and and shout out. We were me and the squad that's been talking about power the whole season on Confidential. We're back on Confidential. They put us our clip, and it was actually pretty cool because what you just said about Ghost is something that I brought up. I brought up at the um on the show is mm-hmm. where I said the same way Superman, Superman and Clark Kent. Superman is the real person, and Clark Kent is the costume. I mm-hmm. feel like Ghost is a real person and James St. Patrick is the costume. I and agree. whatever, like, whatever, he he's the last person to realize that Ghost is who he really is mm-hmm. and James is who he wants everybody to see him as. Yeah. And he's trying to fool himself into thinking that he's Ghost. But now, while we're in this season, all the way to season six, episode 10, um, nobody's fooled. Nobody's nobody's fooled anymore, and he's finally been able to reveal himself because he feels like he can leave that old world behind, run to Albany with Ramona, and and call it a day, right? But do you think he's dead? That's a good question. I've seen a lot of physics pop it up on the timeline and try to figure it out. Um, I will say this: to me, it would be more believable if he survives that than if Angela would have survived. And I say that for a couple of reasons. One, where it looks like he got shot wasn't as in, and yes, no, I have not ever been shot before. So I'm just looking from an anatomy point of view, right? Knock on wood. I've never been shot before, but Angela got shot dead in the chest, like dead dead in the chest. Marksman shot in the chest. Yeah, where, Tommy. where there was no no way, right? I don't think it's Tommy, but go right. ahead. Ghost got shot like below the chest, like by the rib area. Which tells like, you it's rib, somebody short. Rib. Tariq Tate. I mean Tariq Tate. Right. So so he got shot, he got Tommy. shot there, right? Or Tasha or Paz. Well, T. Tariq right. Tate. Tasha. It's one of them. I'm telling you, so, Paz. So Paz not be the shooter. Oh, She's a shooter. The oh. whole shot, throw in the trash. So he got shot there, and then that fall wasn't as long of a fall as they, everybody was making it out to be. Like, yes, you could be fucked up from a fall that way, but I think the saving grace, quote unquote, is that uh, pause. <laughs> I was that was wild racist. Blanca, Blanca was there, oh. and um, uh, Blanca was there. So if she heard the shot. She could get on the I'm horn there. and call the ambulance ASAP as opposed to when Angela died where the ambulance probably didn't come for a while. But if 5-0 is calling them, they're there ASAP, right? Yeah. So that's why I don't think he's dead. Um, that was the other thing. If he's dead, you killed them off with five, episo- five episodes to go? Five? What? What? A, what, a, what do we seriously? have? That's... What else are we? What is everybody going to shoot each other up over ghost that everybody hates? What revenge is go like? What what is the revenge point? What is the revenge point? You know, there's what I mean? also no resolution. Nobody really gets any like. At the end of the day, Sax is still going to be in somebody's prison. You know what I mean? You know right. what I mean? Like, 
Yeah, I, I don't. I don't know unless they're gonna have it that everybody shows up at the same time and has like a shootout, and maybe Ghost gets clipped because we don't know. Did the person walk up to him? Did the person call the truth? Because you know, truth is the most unsecure nightclub in the history of the it's country. Not a nightclub. And, it don't want nobody ever be in that shit. No, I don't know if he has people working for him anymore. Like there'll be no bottle girls. There'll be no waiters, waitresses. Like anybody can roll up and truth. He fell to his back. Right me that somebody said his name he probably turned around and then he was shot and fell back right so so he saw his shooter right I think. May, yeah maybe so who do you, who do you think killed ghost who oh, was who shot ghost hashtag who shot ghost in the spirit of knowing we have a um we have a spinoff coming mm -hmm. i don't feel like it can be Tariq. Um, something tells me I don't think it's Tommy I think that's the obvious ploy I, that's why I don't think it's him I think it's going to end up being Tasha mm. Tasha I just I think it's too obvious for it to be Tommy and I don't think it, it's going to be Tariq I think it's got to be Tasha because none of the other players to me are important enough for it to matter. Like I pause. I don't think she counts. Sax, he's got, yeah, he's got nothing to lose, but I, I don't really see him actually being able to pull the trigger. You yeah. know what I mean? Um, I don't think he's that far gone yet. I just don't think he's that far gone. So you so you think it's Tasha? Tasha or Tate. Okay. Um, at first, I thought it was Yaz. Then I thought it was Kendrick Lamar, Laces. Um, I thought it might have been Jesse Williams. <laughs> but um, that now that Courtney Kemp says it, it has to be one of the suspects, um, I want to say, I feel like, just to see the timeline burn down, I, I want it to be paused. Just to see the timeline burn down, I want to see. I want to see the burn down. I will not watch another episode either. But is Tate really that gone that he would shoot? And here's the other thing. So I'll say it like this. I don't think it was Tate and I don't think it was Tommy because they know how to shoot a gun. And if they wanted him dead, they would have put a bullet in his head. Tate was a licensed gun. Tate, Tate was a licensed cop. Oh, good point. Tate I forgot was about a cop. That. Tate was a cop. So he would know unless, how to shoot to kill. Right. He would shoot. He knows how to shoot to kill. Right. And he did shoot the um he did shoot the uh the 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 dude, he the dude, the dude, Like he shot him in the chest or whatever. But I feel like he would know how to shoot him in the head. I feel like Tommy would know how to shoot him in the head. Um, so I'm going to say it's Tariq. I'm going to say it's Tariq. And I feel like that may be the one that, that catapults this, um, catapults him further. Uh, what I will say, though, you know, we complain we complain about this. So this is probably some of the most complaining or heavy criticism we've had on, on Power in a while. It sucks that it's that last that last um, episode or whatever. But this is what I will say. Uh, I think when it's all said and done, we do have to stand and applaud power as a Absolutely. show, as a cultural movement, Absolutely. as something that, that shifted the zeitgeist of black, black drama, black comedy. Yeah. It was, it was appointment TV at one point. It was, it's all, there's something there's something special about a show that a majority of people kept watching, even though they knew there was shit they didn't like, even though they wanted to drop it. There, there's people who stop watching, but there's people who watch it just to complete it, just to say they complete it, because there's still something compelling, whether they want to admit it or not, there is something compelling of um, that keeps them around because Game of Thrones. Game of Thrones was the same way in that final season. We knew it was shit, but we stayed because we've been here for the longest time, right. and we want to see how it's going to end. And we have that hope that they're going to pull it together and give us the episode and finale that we deserve as the fans who have been riding with the show for as long as we have. Exactly. But also, like you said, it's a, it's a cultural show, but it also brought people together in a sense of 
you know, we all get online on Twitter. We talk to each other. Like I, I've talked to people online through this show that I never would have in my life, you know, had a conversation with. Um, and, you know, I've seen a bunch of groups built around this show. What 50 Cent himself has been able to do through this show is absolutely amazing. He does not get enough credit for that. Right. Um, as annoying as he can be online, at the end of the day, he, he gave us a beautiful, beautiful show. And I'm not going to knock that just because I'm not happy with the episodes right now. Right. Because what show do you know where it comes out a day early and everyone runs to watch? Like, I've... I've this yeah, is sh- a shifted spoiled it. TV show in the history of spoiled TV shows, but it's not really spoiled because you should know to stay offline. I'm not one of those right. people. And, and we'll definitely, we'll definitely get like when it's all said and done, we'll definitely have like that retrospective. But I just wanted to say that real quick. Yeah. We're going to have to stand and applaud. You'll probably hear some of the points again, like after the last episode, but that's fine. But I do want to say if this was Amari Hardwick's, last episode on he is dead um I, I mean i'll save it i'll save it for like when it's confirmed yeah, Never, yeah i will say i'll save that save retrospect it. on his confirmed but sh- short the short of it is like you know salute salute to him yeah. salute to him for real um but but i just thought about it. i was like yeah let me let, let me let that be confirmed before we go into the retrospect about power in the show but i just want to say that love it or hate it we are gonna we're, we're gonna have that conversation about it and and what mm-hmm. it is. So, I think that's it. We we said who we think who who we think shot him. Um, we're gonna have two months to freaking sit on it. Whatever. Okay, that's whatever. You but, got two months to cancel power to cancel stars, yep. guys. You don't have to get billed for it for two months, and then you get it back when the time comes. You only got to pay another two months, and then you're done. Yeah. The only reason I have stars is for power. That's it. I hear that. You know when listen. Once, once, uh, once, once, once it's out, I'm out too. Uh, so <laughs> let's see. Uh, we're going, we're going to the tweets, and I knew, I knew y'all were gonna be sick. Oh, so, so it's, it's wild. Um, let's see. Shout out to CTA with a bunch of numbers. I ain't reading all the damn numbers in your name. I you hope you're not a bot. But um, <laughs> said he, he retweeted something and said, yeah. Tasha probably shot Ghost with the same gun that killed Keisha, Tommy's gun. Mm. Um, I don't know. I don't know. That may maybe. Um, let's see. Let's see. What's this one? Uh, Miss J underscore three forty. How is Dre still alive? He really made it all the way to season six, episode ten, without a bullet wound, stab wound, nothing. He's I was a roach. rocking. Huh. Like- Good question. How is he still like out of everybody on this show? Dre should have been dead like four or five times. Word. Word. Like I, I still don't get it. Like the only like little itty bit of scathe he got was when they attacked him in the safe house. Right. So let's see. We had we had people. Um, we had Shout people out to Chantel that. Lowe who really wants me to sit here and read Tamika's. Um, you know her her Oprah self care glow. Listen, <laughs> Since Tamika left that job, she been looking right. Tamika said, fuck all y'all. I'm going to get my hair pressed. I got my suit on. I'm ready for the game. Like, she came in there ready to defend Sax, and she played her role well. Now, but when her time was up, when she knew his, when she knew he was going to jail, Tamika was like, listen, I can't do nothing else for you. You on your own? I got to go. Yeah. I love Tamika. I wish she had more, um, more parts. I really like her character, but I understand why i mean there's really no point for her to be there tamika is definitely the mood when a black woman gets a new job that she like straight up low. <laughs> after being a, in a stressful job uh yeah. nikki urban this was a whack as hell episode period unfortunately a lot of people agree with you um yeah. cta also said to ghost with love one never marry your rebound two never walk around like you are invincible three learn the difference between fantasy and reality four never use the people closest to you and watch your back in that dark ass club. <laughs> I mean, yo, take those words home and think them through. Um, um, uh, I had somebody send me a message. Um, his name is Jamie M. Garfield. Mm-hmm. He said, uh, this episode was a premonition. If you know the meaning, then it would all make sense that was Ghost dying so that James could live. So what? So he thinks he's alive and that's what's going to be the thing that gets him out the game? Basically. Mm-hmm. 
Well, at this point, why not, right? Um, uh, Miss J underscore three for forty. So, how did everyone know where Ghost will be? I mean, I mean, that's where he, he always. There. That's where he always is. That's where he's been. And um, <laughs> they actually, it was a, it was a nice juxtaposition between the the pilot and then where we that was like where he was the most powerful on that perch looking down at truth and he's looking down at it again like yo i'm finally able to be out this motherfucker yeah. and shout out to everybody who went back to truth for that party after they got robbed a few weeks ago like shout out to them cuz i no i would not i'm send i'm i'm just sending that to you like i'm i'm sending you a text like yo congrats my g but i am never coming to your club again that's Poor Ramona. Can we do it? Ramona, bless her heart. She was waiting. She's probably still waiting. Yep. She at the hotel waiting. Shout out to Ramona. Like, yo, we should keep this a secret. And he was like, nope. And then kissed her. I was like, oh, you wilded out. He's like, oh, well, I guess everybody knows. He talked to Angela and Angela said it was all right. Yeah, so. Angela definitely said, I'm always going to be a part of you, but, you know, don't let her know too much. He's not ready for that. She's she not ready, Jamie. Uh, Let's down. Uh, he did. Buki underscore FC un uh, unanswered questions after episode six ten. How Tommy find out about Proctor's laptop recording if he hasn't come up yet in the Fed's invest evidence against Ghost? Right, we spoke about that. How does Tariq talk so much crap and still expect his dad to take the fall for his ungrateful ass? Well, you know that love is supposed to be unconditional, so I don't think I that. That's the fact that be... Ghost did make them that promise over and over and over, like I got you, I ride for you, I'll take the rap. Right. And then all of a sudden now you are doing whatever it takes for you to walk away scot-free and you're okay with sending your son into a situation where you've been in jail. You know what that's like. Word. You really think Tariq can handle that? Yeah, it's a it's a mess. It's a mess. I I don't know. Um, let's see, let's see, let's see. What else? What else? Um what is this? Like, man, Jay Arms and Jay Asco Ghost. <laughs> Yeah, I'm telling you, I'm looking through, I'm I'm looking through these these tweets. Y'all was we y'all was tight because I knew, I knew, I knew, I knew. Shout out to uh, Tara, uh, Tapatio Tara. Uh, let's see, with 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 all the ghosts in this episode, Angie, K, Reina, why couldn't we get the ghost of Proctor too? I I don't think he was really. Those are people that were like close in his life and really impactful. I mean, Proctor was, you know. Proctor was yeah, useful but, to him when he needed him. Right, he wasn't exactly. about that was really essentially close to him. Right. He and, used Proctor. And remember, they he had other than Kanan, he had a hand in, in Angela's death and he had a hand in Raina's death. And really on the outside had a hand in Kanan's death. So there was yeah. a lot of guilt. A lot of guilt. And there was like different parts of his subconscious too. You know, Angie was a love, Raina was more so the conscience, and Kanan was the life that he was leaving behind. So it's almost you you think about it it's almost like the ghost of christmas past pu uh present and yet to come but different parts of his life that he was saying goodbye to so I think that's what that was when Sax picked up his gun did anyone else think he was going to commit suicide yep I have it in my notes too as I was writing I was like yo is this motherfucker going off himself um what are your predictions on who done it we already gave that so thank you so much um uh, clever girl Dinah ending was too predictable also I forgot to remind you about my theory that Effie works for Mary J Blige curious to hear y'all thoughts on that on that behind how Tariq links with MJB for the spinoff I think we spoke about that before yeah it wouldn't surprise me if it was some female empire um, a la queen of the south that we're gonna get with this next um, with this next spinoff uh, it would not surprise me at all queen of the south is a great show um, you know that there's <laughs> women in the game, so right. it's, it would make sense to me if, if Mary J. Blige was the kingpin running things that Effie was, you know, dealing with. Right, exactly. So, um, and so it ends up coming head to head with that. So, mm, yeah. So I, I think, yeah. So that's about it. And I know we got an email, and I was warned that it was a lengthy email. The uh, the uh, the type that Chrissy loves the most. Uh, ju -ju -ju -ju. So let, let's get to that. So this is my guy. Shout out to um my guy uh Al Sharp Tongue. Uh, oh no. okay, I like him though. Yeah, yeah, yeah. All right. So this this wasn't as long, but but shout out to you for copy and pasting in a different word font. And now my Google I got me oh. got me squinting got me squinting like Jameis Winston looking at <laughs> looking Ooh. at coverage. All right. So let's go. Hey, what's up, Power Gang? 
This is Greg from the Young Black and Bothered podcast. So I've been discussing the latest power episode with our group chat. And I've got a couple of takes that need to really be discussed. Okay. Well, Greg, let's get into it. Yeah. One, the poor writing. I'm not sure if Courtney is more consumed with the prequel show, but the yeah. past five episodes have more plot holes and disconnects than the show's gone from good to who done it. Um, I- I'll go point by point in a comment. Yo, I I haven't seen so much backlash for Courtney Kemp. I think ever on social, people were going in, going in, going in on the writing. I remember when. Somebody had said something about Tariq and said bad writing, and she came back with like mad points. And someone mm-hmm. quote tweeted her and was like, "You know the writing is bad, and she gotta say all these things to combat it." Oh, like, eh. it's, but it's get true. the jokes off. So when you give us the when you when you set big up this season the way that they have, these writers have been you know really telling us this is going to be the greatest thing since sliced bread. You got Fifty Cent letting us know this is going to be the greatest season ever. Like we're never, and this is what we're getting. It's like, it's kind of a letdown. It just, it's just not what we expected it to be. Right. As opposed to something like, for those of you who watch Breaking Bad, mm-hmm. and, and if you haven't, I'll leave out the spoilers, but there's a character who finds out Walter White's alter ego. Mm-hmm. And the way in which he finds out was so smart yes. that, there was no plot holes. There was nothing behind it. It was like perfect how he found out yep. and then how he acted from that point forward. Those are the type of things that's all in line with the character and how he oh, went out and all of that. So, that God damn it. Yeah. So like, like there's way there's multiple ways where, and you know, and, and I'll even say like, I know a lot of people um, throughout the years, have given the, the the CW shows hell. Um, you know, I think all them shows have had at least one down season, and I, I keep it a yeah. hundred. But when you talk about continuity and writing and being being honoring everything that came before, tying in your history, tying in other shows, yeah. the one thing those shows don't have are plot holes. Not like not like not like this. Like no. anything, it might be minor, but they, but they, as their characters have evolved, their writing has evolved to match the characters, and that's and, and I have to say it, man. And it was funny on Power on Power Confidential. She was saying how she wrote the episode in a day, and that's why I, I couldn't understand why people were saying that. But then I realized everybody was like, "Sis, it, it does look like you wrote it in a day." You know what I'm saying? <laughs> and, um, <laughs> and I agree with you about the CW thing. Even the worst season of Arrow, I think it was like season three, the shit wasn't this bad. I right. mean, there was no plot holes. It was just, it was kind of just bad the way they kind of went around it. Right, right. It was- it's like they what they wrote was tight. What they wrote was tight plot holes wise. It's almost <laughs> like if 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 you have a shitty house that has excellent plumbing. Yeah. Like, you know, you, you know you're not going to have to wait 10 minutes for the water to heat up. But the house is shitty. That's yeah. kind of like how I, those down seasons of the CW shows were. But yeah, yeah. It's just, I'm sorry. Some of this, sh- like, I, I, uh, I shouldn't have as many questions as I have about motive and character drive as I did with this. Se- and, and, and mind you, I still think overall this season is, is enjoyable. I think it's been, it's been I with, with parts good, like in almost at some points, very good, but they better clean this shit up. That's yeah. all I'm saying. You got five episodes, man. You got five episodes. I hope, hope it goes that way. Two, my early predictions are either Ramona or Q did it. Hear me out. Oh. I'm going to hear you out, but, you know, Courtney Kemp said it. Ain't, no, no, no. They made sure to show Ramona always around the corner from Ghost the entire episode, from him talking to Paz to talking to Kanan by himself. Not sure why she would, but this show, anything's possible. And with Q... He's been saying he was going to get at Tasha's husband for a while, so why not? I agree with those. Those were all good theories, yeah. but I'm gonna roll. I'm gonna roll. Believe Courtney and say what she says that one of those suspects is the one. If it's anyone outside, I I hope they ask her like, "Yo, you said this. Like, why is it that now?" Um, as someone in the legal profession, every single thing the feds and the lawyers in this show did was absolute trash and wouldn't hold up in court at all. That's at what, all. Yeah. And 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 once again, shout out to the way they wrote the judge who already went through this with them. And yep. then Loki went through this with them with Tommy. Yep. I don't know if it was the same judge, but that court is fed up 
with they're that DA's of, office. They're tired of that office. Right. And and then even if you have something airtight, the fact that they've had what three um US attorneys get killed and and been mired in corruption, yeah. I I like my chances getting off. Yeah. Um how could Dre be there to see him kill Silver if Dre was in protective custody at the same time? Really? Yo, oh God, that stop. is a fucking excellent point because yeah. I wondered, like, where where the hell was he when this was happening? Yes. I'm going to close my fucking computer because if, that, <laughs> if that's a fact, I'm done. I'm going to head out. I'm going to head out. Yeah. I'm, I'm, you know, I, you know, I wish, I wish we, this is, this if we were a more, uh, sophisticated setup we were we had a producer to go to go fact check that i i wish i matter of fact greg i wish i would have read this before what episode i did was that what episode did he die who silver uh you 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 asking a lot it was sometime season five well huh which means he was in protective custody well, re- you also remember, I think that might have happened around the same time. Let me tell you I, something. I would, have, I would have to search it up, but if that episode where he got bagged by the cops, that wasn't the season finale. I don't think it was a season finale. If that happened before the whole silver thing, then yeah, he, he had an alibi for himself. Like, yeah. Uh, but I, I wish I would have read it beforehand to check it myself. Um, but yeah, that, that might, that might be it. I'm so done. <laughs> uh, Dre gets arrested for murder, booked and charged. Blanca, Blanca walks in there talking about, I can get you out of here if you say Ghost told you he killed Terry Silver. And then boom, he's out. Yeah, it don't work That's that not quick. Realistic. It, it's not realistic. And the same night, perfect. right. And then the same night, yeah, it's quiet. Six, I swear if this show pulls an empire... And Ghost is in a coma for two to three episodes and everyone's trying to figure out who did it. I'll be so upset. Just like Lucius. Is that what happened with Lucius? Yeah, for me. Mm. Didn't Tariq say Ghost wasn't his father last week? Now it's begging him to take take the weight for his crime? Screw you. I mean, I do the same shit. I ain't gonna hold you. Yeah, I mean, I'm not gonna um, Quote, you might have gave me life, but you were never my father. And you want me to take the rap? Ha ha ha. Bogus. I just wish that the show would have a bit of cohesiveness and even more realism. Six people walking to one destination and none cross paths like, oh, hey, are you intensely walking down the street with a gun? That's what I'm saying. There's north, south, there's east, there's west. Okay. And and, and then you got Blanca in a cop car. She don't see nobody walking through true. Right. I mean, to be fair, they're all walking towards truth. But I don't think everybody had truth. Like, I think a couple of them were by truth. Everyone else was just a perspective shot. But I, but maybe there's going to be... I'll hold it out to see, does everybody show up at the same time? That Like, does somebody that's hear the true. shot? Does, do, does somebody, like, let's say, maybe that's how they reveal who did it. Where you hear the shot and somebody runs away. Somebody does this. Somebody runs towards. Somebody does that, and then they figure it out. I don't know. Um, I won't even touch on the fact that Reina's. Uh, I won't even touch on the fact that Reina's headstone didn't have her birth and, and death date. Where they do that at? I don't know. That that headstone yeah. looked wild, fancy. So maybe it was hidden somewhere. Maybe it was on the bottom or something. I don't know. I didn't see it. Yeah, it didn't have it. it. It had like an inscription or whatever, but it didn't have. The, it didn't have the birth date and the death date under the uh under her name. Y'all um, motherfucking sleuths, man. Y'all just be finding yeah. everything. Now I, now I get that Courtney said that the person who show who shot him was one of the people in the final scenes with motive. But she also lied to us before saying that Angie wasn't dead, only to switch from that too. Now we already went over that. She didn't lie. Angie was alive. Angie made it to season six. She was in there for four minutes. But she, it was a loophole. It was a loophole in what they asked. Like, if they asked, if you asked her, is she going to die? She wasn't going to answer that. You asked her if she was dead, and she said, no, she's not. And she wasn't. Which is true, she and, wasn't. And, and so, so in that case, she finessed. She finessed. She didn't, she didn't lie, though. It's just, it's just what it is. 
Anyways, it's safe to unsubscribe from Stars for two months at least and renew <laughs> after Christmas. So I guess happy holidays. Sincerely, <laughs> hashtag Team Ghost. Yo, Greg, you are cool. That was. Hey, man. Yo, save your coins. Yo, save your coins because we have at least. I, and and I, I say it once again. I do think that this is going to be a um, five episodes of Power Book One. And then the next five episodes are going to be this spinoff. That's why it's a mid-season finale. And that's why, to me, that's why Ghost, uh, Ghost, that's why 50's been saying this is a continuation of power. That's why they called it Power Book 2. Because he said you've seen it with, like, other shows. Because even, like, Spartacus did that. Spartacus Blood and Sand. So yeah. Spartacus this, Spartacus that. So it's been a continuation of the same show, but it's a different different type of Spartacus I believe um and other shows but yeah I think that's what it is so we probably have 10 more power episodes between the old show and whatever the new show is they're still shooting the book two show they yeah. haven't wrapped I don't believe they've wrapped book two yet so gotta wonder who made it the yeah and who gonna make it into that damn uh spinoff but Miss Chrissy do you have anything else just clean it up, guys. Mm. Clean it up. And can we just give BG the, the funeral he deserves? Yeah, man. Somebody send that repass information. You know what I'm saying? Like, yo, give my man give my man his flowers. You know what I'm saying? I do deserve better than this. He, he really did. He was loyal. My nigga was loyal. He deserved yeah, better than this. Jesus. Y'all got y'all got BG out here looking spooky. God so dang. Damn, clean damn it up, shame. Courtney. Clean damn it up. Shame, damn shame. That's all I'm asking, just clean it up. <laughs> yeah, man. That well. That does it for us. Thank you once again for rocking with us for Power After Hours. We have at least five more episodes to go. You won't hear our beautiful voices for the next two months, but you know we'll be around all the internet. I'll be keeping up with all the news. Follow the Power After Hours feed. Follow me on on all social media at Jeff J Says. Chrissy, where can they follow you on all social media? You can find me at Chrissy Bree. Word up. And, you know, be sure keep interacting with the with the accounts and all that. You know, we'll keep it going as we want as we do this two month wait until the end of uh of of this chapter of power. Um yeah. thank you once again for sending in all your info. Uh, all your info. That sound like a scammer. Thank you for sending in all your questions, your comments, your commentary, your emails. Like I, I even when I set up the email, just I ain't gonna fry. I didn't think anybody was gonna send emails like that, but I'm glad that I did because not you know, people are all on social now. Like I'm surprised people still use email. But um you know, novels. Thanks, y'all. I mean Word. But but it's but I, I know, you know, we appreciate it. We appreciate the, the messages and everything that you said. Um, and yeah, it's gonna be a long wait. It's gonna be a long wait, but we will be I back. A break from Jeff that I've always wanted. Oh, that yeah. is good. Y'all can't see her face right now. You, the, how much front is she doing right now? So I'm gonna let her cook, though. Literally, double entendre. Don't ask me how. You know what I'm saying? But we out of here. We will see you in the new year, 2020, yes. and we're gonna finish off this series. Till next time, we'll catch you later. Peace. I want you to sing it with me. They say this is a big rich town. Yeah, yeah. I just come from the homeless town. White light city, I gotta make it. This is where it goes. Yeah. I just got to go. Wait a minute. They say this is a big rich town. Say what? I just come from the <laughs> Bright light, city light This is where it goes down Yeah I just had for nothing Legal, legal, baby I gotta make it Southside